Police meanwhile developing right now at six in Prince George's County. Police there releasing these images of suspects and the van connected to a bold overnight robbery. They said the van slammed into a 7-Eleven store in Bowie and stole an ATM full of cash. It's all happened around two this morning at the Hilltop Plaza on Racetrack and Annapolis Roads. The store clerk telling police he locked himself in the restroom for safety. Our Leonard and Fleming joins us outside that 7-Eleven with more on the police investigation. This was clearly a brazen robbery. Take a look behind me and as you can see the damage caused to the outer shell of the building that is now boarded up with plywood. People who live in the area tell me this is an all too common occurrence here where thieves are getting more and more bold by the day. It's just something that's been happening in Bowie quite often now. Jimmy stared in disbelief and took pictures Tuesday of the boarded up glass corner of the 7-Eleven store robbed of its ATM cash machine. Numerous stores have been hit around here and uh, the crime in Bowie is getting worse and worse. Bowie police say a white van with two men dressed in dark clothing and masks backed into the 7-Eleven to steal the ATM machine. The store clerk police say hid in the store's restroom. The aftermath of the heist, scores of water bottles and debris covered the ground. I walked around in there and I couldn't find the ATM. James then discovered the ATM was stolen after his barber told him to get cash at the 7-Eleven ATM to pay for his haircut. A lot of places, you know, it'll be a, a little standalone ATM on the inside and I didn't even see the plywood. Easy money. Um, uh, I mean, you could, you say chains, sure. I've seen it done with forklifts. I mean, I, I just can't believe that people have the nerve to do something like that with all the police in the area. Witnesses who live and shop in the area say that this has happened all too much in and around Bowie, Maryland. Also, 7-Eleven officials, no comment from their corporate offices as of yet. Reporting in Bowie, Maryland, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.